I am informed by the Central Water Authority that no water from Bagatel Dam is being blended with treated water from Lamari treatment plant. Uh, Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, in fact, I conveyed to the Ministry that this was not my original question. Unfortunately, the, uh, the question I addressed to the Honourable Minister has been uh, uh, re redrafted and, and uh, has, no, has no sense, in fact. But I am sure the Minister uh, will be able, has, has understood that this is a mistake and the question is, in fact, whether untreated water from Bagatel Dam is, is being supplied. On a point of order, Mr. Deputy Speaker, um, may I rise on a point of order? Yes. This is the question that I've received. I'm not aware of the question which was intended. If there is such a case, the standing orders provide that the question is withdrawn and reformulated with the assistance of the Speaker. This has not been done. I'm taken utterly by surprise, especially the statement that the Honourable Member would have contacted the Ministry, of which I am not aware at all. Yes. Uh, that the, the mistake has been made Member. to this question, but never mind. I will draw your attention to... In, uh, 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 in the light uh, of the answer given by the Honourable, by the Honourable DPS. I will draw your attention to Standing Order 21, subsection 5. The clerk shall have full power to sub-edit questions. It cannot now be the subject matter of debate. I will invite you if you have further questions on the issue. The difference between sub-editing and changing, uh, Mr. Speaker, but ne never mind. Never mind, I'm, I'm, this point of Honourable members, allow the honourable, honourable members, allow the honourable member to take the point of order. Yes, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. The Honourable Member, as a seasoned Member of Parliament, should know that any matter dealing with the editing or amendment of a parliamentary question should be taken privately with the Honourable Speaker. Thank you, sir. This is indeed regulated by Standing Order 21.4. Honourable Ganu, I will invite you to, if you have further questions on the issue. Yeah. In spite of the answer of the Honourable Minister, is the Honourable DPM aware that some 4,000 4, to 6,000 cubic meters of raw surface water from Bagatel Dam is being injected since mid-December 2017 into a pipeline from Trianon boreholes, and this water is being, is being sent to Rosil Reservoir and distributed to consumers of Bobassin right now so that at the moment consumers in Mauritius are being supplied with water which is not being treated properly and are consuming that water. It is very easy under the guise of one question to come with a second question altogether for which I have not been prepared. This question is certainly a most interesting question to which I will reply if notice is given as in the normal course of things. Otherwise, Parliament would become mayhem. Honourable Malvin. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. And treated for water from Bagatel Dam is being. This is, this is, this is the, uh, the question, is, is, is phrased as follows. Whether the Minister will, for the benefit of the House, obtain from the CWA information as to if and treated water from the Bagatel Dam is being blended or not? You can say it's not being blended. Is it being supplied to consumers? This, is my, this was my question. But that is not the question. The question is whether the uh, water from Bagatel Dam is being blended with water from Lamari treatment plant. I've answered. Yes. Yeah, but I have come back. 
supplementary, forget about La Marie. Tell us whether water from Bagatelle Dam is being supplied. Yes, actually, I will forget the question. Thank you, Deputy Speaker, sir. We are talking about public health. We are talking about a very serious issue for which the Honorable Member has brought before the House. The Honorable Minister chairs management meeting, I believe, every week with officers of the CWA. Can he tell the House whether or not he is aware whether treated water is at all being injected into the pipes of the CWA? This is a question I would believe he does not need any preparation for this. It's not what you believe that matters. It is the standing orders of the House that matter. Please, please give me notice. Please give me notice. Not la honte. Wait until I answer you on la honte. Uh, please give me notice of the question and then I will reply with all information. Honorable Bagwan. Mr. Deputy Speaker, in the light from what we have heard and mentioned, I've been made of Bobasse of my constituency and also Rosil. Can the Deputy Prime Minister give assurance to the inhabitants of Rosil and Bobassin that they are being supplied with quality water, treated water, according to the norms? I have no indication that the contrary is taking place. So I must assume that treated water, proper water, is being given to, is being distributed. What I know is that there are regular, regular checks of the quality of water given to all areas of Mauritius. Honourable Ghana. The Honourable Minister, to check. I'm not having a go at the Honourable DPM. Perhaps he is not aware. But I will tell him to go and check this information. After I had put this question, a pressure filter has been put on the side in April, 2000, April end of April. And from my information, even this pressure filter is not working properly and has not been able to, to, to solve the problem so that still, as present, consumers of the Bobasai region are being, are being provided with untreated water. And I understand this is no question, this is a statement. Honorable Sir Can I put it to the Minister? If there is a subject that requires a serious statement from the Minister, it's that one. That at the first opportunity carries out the kind of inquiries yeah. that it should carry out and inform the people of Rosil, Bobassin and of the region what is the situation exactly. It warrants a full-fledged statement after inquiry. Honorable Ratna. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, can the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister confirm whether since December 2017 up to now there has been any massive health complaint from inhabitants of Bobasa, Brazil? Allo keep obigadu! Allo keep obigadu! Honorable members, honorable members, honorable Ratna, please proceed. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Whether there have been any complaints from the inhabitants of Bobassin Rosil that they have suffered from unpure water related diseases? I, for one, am in good health. My good friend, Honorable Bagwan, appears to be in extremely good health. The inhabitants of Rosil and Bobassin have not complained. Uh, if there had been complaints, I would have certainly addressed the issue. If at all uh, this matter warrants any further uh, interference, I shall certainly do so. But for the moment, let me do my job. I know how to do my job. Next question, Honorable Bagwan. 